Johnny, get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. Take it on the run, on the run, on the run. Hear them calling you. Hello, and welcome to Frontline Rejects. Today we'll be talking about 38 Wasteland, and we'll follow this up with a presentation on how to manufacture it. Many people are familiar with the video game Fallout 4, which is set in a post-apocalyptic world and features weapons manufactured out of whatever material is left lying around following the Great Atomic War. One such weapon is the pipe pistol. And here at Frontline Rejects, we thought it'd be cool to go ahead and manufacture our own working model. We recently had an initial test firing of our first model of pipe pistol, and I urge you to go and watch that presentation. Now, the pipe pistol in the video game is chambered in 38. And from this was born the idea for 38 Wasteland. Now, what is 38 Wasteland? Well, 38 Wasteland is a cartridge that uses a case which started out life as either a 38 Special or a 357 Magnum, trimmed down to the uniform length of 0 0.800. Now, in a future post-apocalyptic society, it makes sense that cases in these chamberings would not be manufactured any longer. After continuous reloading, these cases are, would eventually suffer stresses and could result in split case mouths or something of the like. As such, it would make sense to trim them down to a length used by that of, say, 38 Wasteland so that they could continue to be used moving forward. Now, this is beneficial because 38 Wasteland can be used in a variety of different firearms to include those manufactured by an actual firearms manufacturer as well as those produced in the home. We tested 38 Wasteland for velocity out of a six shot revolver with a four inch barrel and we got an average velocity of around 900 feet per second. With a lower velocity comes lower chamber pressures and as such a homemade firearm can use 38 Wasteland and be able to stand up to the pressures generated when it may not be able to handle the pressures generated by something such as 357 Magnum. Another benefit to using one of these two cases as the parent case for 38 Wasteland is the case rim. Having a case rim makes it easier to retain the case in some sort of home-built firearm. Now the length of 38 Wasteland at 0 .800 is very similar to that of 9mm. A 9mm case is usually trimmed to around 0.751, although with its taper, it is wider at the base of the case. Not much, about 0 0.010 of an inch, but a little bit nonetheless. In line with this, 38 Wasteland tends to have similar ballistics to 9mm, perhaps a little bit slower velocity, but with an optimized load, it would be roughly the same. Indeed, when loading for 38 Wasteland, we've been relying off of 9mm load data. Biased toward the low end, of course, because with early testing, we want to be a bit more conservative in how we are charging these cases. The bullets that we've used so far, and the ones that we'll be using in the presentation today, are ones that we have cast for 9mm. And the round is going to be 124 grain TC lead round with a red powder coat. This is also in line with what would be potentially available in a future post-apocalyptic hellhole. And with that, let's get into the loading. I do want to stress quickly that everything we're discussing today is hypothetical. I'm in no way recommending that you go ahead and try this at home. We're simply videoing our journey through the development here. This sort of stuff can be very dangerous, so please don't do it. So we've got 10 cases of 38 Special set up here, and these cases will be the basis for our 38, spe or 38 Wasteland that we're gonna load today. Now, Brass Prep has already completed on these, and Brass Prep is standard for you know any other 38 or 357 Brass Prep that you would do. Now we're going to trim these to a length of 0 0.800. Let's get started.
Our 38 waistline cases are now trimmed to a length of 0 0.800. And we've also chamfered and deburred the case mouth. Next thing we're going to do is expand the case mouth just slightly so that it can take the bullet. And to do that, we're going to be using a 9mm expander die. And the reason we use a 9mm one is the RCBS 35738 special expander die I have doesn't dip down far enough to actually reach the case mouth on the shortened case. So the 9mm expander die works well. And today we'll be using dies from Redding. We get a slight belling of the case there. All right, so we've got our 38 waistland cases trimmed to length, chamfered, deburred, and flared. We'll go ahead and prime these up. So we're using some regular Federal small pistol primers today. Alright, so we're getting ready to charge our cases here. I'm not going to say exactly what our charge weight is, just because this is an experimental round. But I will say that we are using power pistol. And we are loading to basically the minimum recommended load, or minimum recommended charge weight for 9mm. keep the pressure as low as possible. Now that these are charged, we're gonna go ahead and get the bullet seated and case is crimped. And we're gonna be using a 124 grain lead cast bullet with a red powder coat on it. As you can see from looking at it with the bullet actually in there, it kind of does resemble a 9mm with the added lip. All right, well, there you have it. 10 rounds of completed 38 Wasteland. Now we're gonna have a, another video coming up soon where we're gonna be putting more of these through the pipe pistol. And we're also gonna be doing some stress testing on that system with some 357 Magnum. Of course, stay tuned for the second generation pipe pistol, 
We hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.